viewers, it's me Zari and for today's video, I decided to make a first episode of a series so-called Ignite Your Purpose. It is basically where I will be talking about real stuff I've never really talked about before. In this whole series, we will be talking about relationships, self-help, your passion, your identity, and your purpose in life. My objective here is that you will get motivated of what it means to live a life driven by the truth. So let's begin. Today, we will be talking about dealing with comparison or how to stop comparing yourself to others. And I invited someone to be with me in this matter. So let me introduce to you this lovely lady all the way from Scotland, Rachel Lester. Hey YouTube, my name is Rachel Lester and today I've been asked to talk to you about comparison and just to give my own testimony about my struggles with comparison and also to give you some tips and advice for what to do when you do find yourself comparing your life to somebody else's and also some reasons why you shouldn't compare yourself. I'm going to start off by telling you about my own struggles with comparison. Comparison is something that every single person in this world has or will struggle with at some point in their life. Whether it be their looks, their personality, their body, their jobs, their family, where they live. Um, or their career, you know, there are so many things that people compare to other people because society has a set standard, you know, you should look like this, you should be this skinny, or you should be this muscly, or you should have this career, or you should be married by this age and have kids, you should have this car, you know, it's so materialistic that that is the standard that we have to live up to. And so for me, the thing that I have struggled with the most in my life is like my appearance in my body. So from such a young age, as young as I can remember, in primary school I compared my body to every other girl. I just constantly compared it and I was like, why does my body not look like theirs? I didn't like what I saw and so that, that was a struggle that I have always dealt with that would later take root and develop into an eating disorder. Something else that I have always struggled with is like my appearance and how I look. And so when I started, this started in high school when I started wearing makeup and caring about like my hair and stuff. And so I started comparing my looks to, you know, other girls. It wasn't like too bad in high school, but I definitely progressed towards the end of high school, beginning of university where it was constantly on my mind. And so these two things later developed into an eating disorder. And that was partly due to comparison. That wasn't the full reason, but that was part of the reason. Like I was comparing my body to other girls and the standards of the, what the beauty industry says you should look like. And so that led me to some really, really dark places. You know, I was in France and um, there were these really skinny French girls. And I remember, thinking I need to lose so much weight because I'm not skinny enough, I'm not as skinny as them and I won't be good enough until I'm as skinny as them and I probably was skinnier than them. I mean I don't know because I suffer with body dysmorphia as well and so like for me my eating disorder was telling me like you need to be skinnier because if you're not skinny you're not good enough and I never ever and still don't see myself as skinny and so comparing my body to other girls led me to a really, really dark place. As well as that, you know, I constantly still compare my body. I constantly still compare my looks. I remember being in the gym last week and I literally thought to myself, like, there are so many pretty girls here, like, I can't compete with them. But like, I shouldn't have to compete with them, you know, like, it's not a beauty contest and I'm not here to be the prettiest girl there is. And so that's definitely something I struggle with and I still need to overcome. But comparison, it can affect every aspect of our life. Even like this year, I compared my career with other people. So I was in a job I didn't like. You know, I went to university, but I ended up not going into the profession that I studied. I started feeling worthless and hopeless and like I wasn't good enough because I didn't have a specific job. Because society as well puts 
you know, worth and standards on jobs, if you're a CEO of a company, you're seen as like a more important human being than if you work in a supermarket. But that is not true, especially during this pandemic. I think people can testify that, you know, people that do jobs, maybe not as much work is placed on, they are so important to society. And so like, even just comparing that led me to feel, even like sometimes now, a couple of months ago, I struggled with that really bad and it was really bad for my mental health. There are so many things that you probably compare yourself with to other people. And I just wanna give you some like encouragement about why you shouldn't compare yourself. God made you unique. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are made in the image of God. Like that is so incredible. You have your own unique fingerprints. You have your own unique personality. God made you exactly how he wanted you to be in this world. And he made us all different. We all have different gifts and talents. You know, I love fitness and I love baking and I'm good at it. Whereas I can't sing, but there'll be other people out there that can sing, other people that are good, you know, at finance and with numbers. There is a variety of different things you can be good at. And it's about finding what you're good at and just pursuing it, you know, with a passion, something you're passionate about as well. God gave you passions and desires in your heart for a reason, and he will give you the desires of your heart according to his will. The second reason you shouldn't compare yourself is because God has set timings and plans for things to happen in your life. Like there is no timeline for things to happen, there is no timeline for a career, there's no timeline for marriage, there's no timeline to get in a relationship. That's a lie told to us by society. But God has specific timings for things that are going to come to, to fruition in your life and it's about trusting in Him and focusing on Him and what he's calling you to do at this moment in time because you're right where God wants you to be right here right now. Another tip for you to focus on yourself and not to compare yourself to others is exactly that. Focus on yourself. Don't focus on somebody else. You know, I could easily focus on someone who's been training in the gym for like five years who's got so much muscle. Um, whereas for me, you know, I've been training for three years but my progress has been slow because of my eating disorder. But I could get so discouraged if I look at somebody else's, you know, how much they're lifting compared to me. But if I just focus on, you know, new personal bests, like that's gonna get me excited to wanna work out. You know, focus on the victories in your life, whether you just got a promotion, whether you just got a new job, you know, whether you've reconciled with a loved one or with your family during the lockdown, whatever it is, focus on your victories and not anybody else's. If you're focusing on yourself, going to be pretty hard to focus on what somebody else is doing and so like the last tip I want to give you if you find yourself comparing your life to somebody else is to give thanks like be thankful for what you have you know for me rather than focusing on the body that I don't have or that I don't like I need to focus on being thankful for a healthy body you know I can walk I can run I can jump I can eat um, I can exercise, I can lift weights. There are so many people that due to illnesses or other things in their life, they can't do this type of thing. Like I am so blessed, I'm so fortunate for what I have. So whether that be you want a job, be thankful for the job that you have if you want a specific job, like a different job. Um, whether you want a relationship, be thankful for the family that you've got. Be thankful that you've got your salvation. Like there are so many things you can give thanks for. I really just hope that what I've said today has encouraged you and that it will, it will take root deep within you. Thank you for that great and inspirational words and advice, Rach, that you've imparted to us. It really means a lot and I'm blessed personally. Before we end this video, I'd like to share these practical two steps also how to stop comparing yourself to others aligned with what Rachel talked about. There are two things I want to elaborate. First is, take a break from social media. We all know that social media can be a great source of inspiration, right? In today's world, with social media and how everything seems to be on full display for the world, it can be easy to compare yourself to others. Yes, 
But all I can say here is that allow yourself to take a break from the social media to practice self-care and to protect your mental health too. That's why I choose to do a detox. Lastly, be motivated, not competitive. Yes, you've heard it. You know, I've compared myself to others a lot, especially, you know, ladies, when it comes to looks, wealth, and many more. Thinking I should have this or that by this time in my life. But by God's grace, I am still work in progress and I admit that I still struggle every time my old self is resurrected. But one thing I know for sure is that I am no longer the woman I was before. And I realize that we all have our own path to follow and we should not be following anyone else's path but our own. Let me share this closing verse with you and it is taken from the book of Psalms chapter 139 verses 13 to 16. Again, Psalm chapter 139 verses 13 to 16. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Remember that we all have different seasons, different timelines, different timetables, and different journeys in life. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, Remember that you are so much more. And that's it for today. And I hope and it's my prayer that you are being reminded once again that you are incomparable. Yes, you are incomparable. Lastly, I want to take this opportunity to thank those people who supported me and who subscribed to my YouTube channel. We're now 115 subs. Amazing. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much and I love you all. So please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe.